We're on the side of the road. We broke down. My first breakdown in four years in this truck. Um, so I was driving, I had just gotten out of traffic and uh, started going, you know, regular speed. And then I, I heard a pop and uh, the, the coolant uh, alarm came off. It, it was gonna uh, do a force shutdown. So I pulled over as soon as possible I'm on a fork. So there's an exit right there and then the freeway over here and it's somewhat rush hour. So um, I tried taking a peek to see what it could be and all the hoses, the visible hoses are good. They're not ripped. The fan and the belts, everything is good. So I don't know. I had to go out there and put my, my cones, my triangles, but my poor baby. There's a, I really, something related to the cooling system broke and my coolant was spilling so I had to pull over and shut the engine off so now we're riding with this crap whatever I'm just kind of over today um, 
yeah, just kind of over it. I want to go home and chill. It's 2.30. I just had lunch because it's been crazy. So basically, the tow truck came and uh, we he hooked it up and he pulled my tractor and trailer from off the 105 freeway. I was going west. I was going to Inglewood. I was on the uh, 10 exit, exit 10. Uh, that's like Wilmington, Wilmington Boulevard, something like that. So yeah, we we're heading down the 105. Uh, I broke down, then he came, hooked me up, and then we got off the freeway, made a U-turn, got back on the 105. And then we went down to the 605, down to the five, and we exit on Carmenita. And then he took me to the shop, disconnected the trailer, they gave me this unit right here, and then, uh, yeah, continued with my day. But after I broke down, I was supposed to deliver five pallets, but they canceled that. So I still have those five pallets on me. And I have to, I went to go get two pallets in Vernon, and now I'm in LA. Uh, I was supposed to pick up six here, but there's no load for us. I don't know what happened. And now I gotta go back to Santa Fe Springs to offload, so that way I could go for another full truck load. So um, that's how the day's going so far. All right, so quick update. I'm driving this ugly truck. Uh, way better than the International though, even though it's it's a mess right now. I'm, I'm so out of place. Um, so this is my ex-coworkers uh, truck. They use it to move tra uh, trailers in the yard. Um, I went back to my yard to offload the load that I had with the International. And since I was there, I swapped that truck because I just, that truck is something else. I'm so used to driving uh, this Cascadia. And man, from going from the International to the Cascadia, I know they call Freightliners freight shakers, but that thing shakes. This one's, I hopped on it and it was like a Mercedes Benz. Uh, so much more comfortable. The seats are much more comfortable. The space in here is just, so it's great. Um, I picked up 23 pallets right now at Romero's, uh, right here in, um, what is this? Artesia? Something like that. Um, New Artesia off of Valley View. And every time I come here, since I have to load myself up, well, they put the pallets on the trailer and then I, I pull them. But they're like super heavy pallets because it's all tortillas. So I got hooked up. Usually they gave me chips. I got some tortillas and some flour and corn. And like I said, this truck's a, a mess. But um, what it, it beats the international. So um, right now I'm about to go to the shop and grab some more things out of the, the my old truck and also get some fuel on this one because I'm gonna be using this one for the rest of the week until they get my truck back. So yeah, stay tuned. I wish I would have done a time lapse while I was loading myself because it was 23 pallets, super heavy, and um, that would have been a fun little video clip, but uh, next time. There's my truck right there all sad. Let's get some fuel on this one. Um, I came to drop off my load, the tortilla load, uh, back to my yard and I parked the trailer right here. They said that my truck is done. They said that my truck is done. Well, the guy that was fueling me, he said, hey, you're back for your truck. And I was like, no, they're working on it. He's like, no, I'm getting ready to put it on the finish lane. And I was like, oh, cool. So I guess it wasn't that bad of a of a breakdown. That'd be cool if it's like done, done tomorrow. That way I don't have to drive this truck. I can drive my own personal and it'll be at our yard on Saturday so that way it can get washed. Uh, thanks for watching. Today was a hectic day. Uh, I was kind of over it like I mentioned earlier and uh, luckily everything turned out good and we're back home or safe and sound right here in Santa Fe and it's time to check out and go home. See what tomorrow has in store for us. So. Peace out.
thanks for watching see you on the next subscribe 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 peace so i'm adding this clip as a update to the video that you just seen uh basically i broke down my truck broke down on wednesday the 24th of may which was last week today is thursday june 1st and uh so we broke down we got it into the shop uh luckily it was ready the next day and uh